Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. have this man to be your husband, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage, will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep you only unto him, for so long as you both shall live. I will. Tad. Will you take Dixie to be your wedded wife? To live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love her? Comfort her? Honor and keep her? In sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep you only unto her? For so long as you both shall live. Oh, yeah. The rings? Bless, O oh Lord, these rings as a sign of the vow by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to one another through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Dixie, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of God. Ed, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you in the name of God. Now that Tad and Dixie have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, through the joining of hands, and through the exchange of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. You may kiss the bride. Like to make a toast? That's me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you may be the 
the luckiest, but you're not the best. I'll second that. <laughs> to Mr. and Mrs. Thaddeus Martin, two better people, I don't know. That's why I want to wish you a lot of love, a lot of happiness, and especially a lot of laughs. <laughs> I hope you have as perfect a wedding as Cecily's and mine. Uh, and marriage. May all your dreams come true. Well, as unaccustomed as I am to public speaking, uh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> get down a moment to the mic, <laughs> to our son and to his excellent taste in women. Wow. <laughs> and welcome to our daughter-in-law. <laughs> We're equally as lucky as our son. Uncle Palmer? What? Oh, oh yes, yes, of course. Just a moment. Here. <coughs> well, why not? Why not? Welcome to the family, Tad. You make Dixie happy, we'll all be happy, huh? <laughs> well, how do you like them apples, Palmer? I mean, as long as this marriage lasts, looks like yes. you and me are like next door to blood king. My blessings never cease. Yeah, well, I think you've got to look on the bright side, right? I did all that I could, Palmer, but that kid had got a stubborn, stubborn streak just like his old man. I couldn't make it to his I must say I admire your guts, so Well, isn't that a gallant thing for you? You say, Palmer, and now they, they prefer the spine of the time, and I just... Oh, oh, that's quite all right. You're looking lovely, as usual. Thank you. Thank you. It was a beautiful wedding, Palmer. I think you outdid your son. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that one heck of a cold fish, though? I do not understand what you ever could have seen in her. A man like you, Palmer, needs a dynamo, a woman who is warm and excited, uh, unpredictable, who knows how to Please. You'll excuse me. Phoebe! Phoebe! Scott, I wanted me to give you this to you. He can get it to a friend's birthday party. That's why he couldn't do it. But he wanted you to have it. Oh, oh isn't that nice? That's wonderful. Oh, it's so sweet. Thank, oh, you. thank you. I love you both. Oh, we love you. We love you. That's nice. Yeah, I love you, Jess. Thank you. Um, it was a lovely wedding, wasn't it? There's something you and I need to talk about. Okay, here we go. Hey, folks. Yay! 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 Phoebe, I'm sitting this one out. <laughs> 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 